Howdy there, Coastal Bend. We got up to 94 degrees here in Corpus Christi today, so it was nice and toasty out there. But right now, 79 degrees, and we only feel a couple degrees warmer because we did see a little brief drop in the humidity today. Tonight, we are going to keep that uh, drawn back humidity top, uh, bottoming out rather near 70 degrees. So that's a pretty seasonable temperature for this time of year. We're going to see those partly cloudy skies continue into tonight as well as into tomorrow. It's going to be another warm afternoon with maybe a spotty shower, just a 20% chance or so, but it's not going to feel all that horrible. We did have a very weak front come down through uh, the state of Texas today, but now it has uh, become stationary here in South Texas. You can see lots of drier dew points in the northern half of the state, but we are still on the muggier side of things here in Corpus Christi. For the next couple days, we are going to see an easterly wind become more more southeasterly, and that's going to drag in lots of humidity off the Gulf of Mexico. And we're also going to see our humidity go up towards the middle of the week as a result of the remnants of Hurricane Julia in Central America. More on that in just a second. But then notice we've got a brief wind shift before our next cold front comes in. That cold front comes in Thursday uh, and then Friday and Saturday. We have a continuing north wind and that will continue to bring in drier as well as cooler air behind that next cold front. Here's where we are on Hurricane Julia with the latest update at 10 p.m. That did get upgraded to a category one hurricane up until this afternoon. It had been sitting at a very strong tropical storm strength, but it's expected to make impact or rather landfall in Nicaragua over the next few hours and bring some pretty prolific rain to Central America before continuing into the eastern Pacific. But what we're focusing on here is the moisture from Julia. As it continues through Central America, we're going to see moisture come in from the Gulf of Mexico, not only from the high pressure, but as we go further into the week, Julia's remnants throwing moisture up towards us here in Texas, and that is going to clash with our next cold front by midweek and by late week. So here's a look at what that is going to look like on our future cast radar here. Big dip in the jet stream with the low pressure. That's going to drag the cold front here into Texas, and as that moves through this high pressure is going to settle into Texas and give us some nice weather with lots of sunshine. Those rain chances pretty small for tomorrow, just an isolated chance for some showers, but heading into midweek as Julia's moisture and that cold front start to clash, those rain chances start to go up 30% Wednesday and about a 50% chance as of now on Thursday. For tonight, we are going to stay dry, but we're going to have partly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the 60s around the coastal bend with those inland temperatures being just a bit cooler. 70s right along the coast. Forecast highs tomorrow, maybe a degree or so cooler than we were today, but still pretty warm out there. Widespread upper 80s, maybe even some low 90s. I think 91 here in Corpus Christi with that easterly wind. Breezy at some times with some gusts up to 20 miles an hour. The next couple days, we're going to see those morning temperatures continue to climb with that moisture coming in here, but the high temperatures are going to stay pretty consistent up until that cold front comes through right in time for jazz. Fest. So I'm getting really excited. This is our first in quotes good cold front of the year. Well, it's it's starting to feel like fall it anyway. It is. It so is. So excited. Great. All right. Thank you, Kristen.